Hello YouTube. This is part three of my micro can gauge or can gauge micro. I haven't decided on the name yet. Anyhow, I did receive the 120 ohm terminating resistors, which you need if you want to build your home, your own network, which is here connected to 13 volts, 12 volts as in the car. Uh, you could run it with 5 volts if you put a solder jumper to illuminate the LDO. And uh, this is running in simulator code and this is running my regular code that I have, the example code, and you see the three values jumping around happily. Throttle is not in the code here so it's not showing it. Uh, it took quite a time to find a code that actually works because there are so many libraries out there and so many code examples and uh, most of them don't even compile and even if they do they just don't work and you have to figure out so but I finally got this working so I don't have to run around 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 oh I'm sorry I don't have to run out all the time to the car to test code. Now I can do it uh, at home or in my room. Anyhow, so this is a network. You could connect any node to it if you want to. Uh, only the start and the end needs the terminating resistors. Any nodes don't need it. So this was that and i made a oh you saw that in the second video this is the 3d printed case i did and uh, then i had this idea with my frames that i have for the gear indicator and the gps as you see here for the gopro session case and figured why not make a case out of, case out of it or enclosure and that's what i did here so it is basically two of course i will redo the pcbs it's not gonna have a big hole like that in the end in the back i just did this as an example and i 3d printed the frame here which will also have an opening for the micro sd card slot if needed so you can change it because on this one uh, and i did glue this in here so it will stay put but you can get to the micro SD card, which is here because I didn't put a hole in there yet. So anyhow, uh, what do you guys think? I think this one is a winner now. Uh, I'm not gonna make the PCBs in white because it would stick out like a spore thumb in most of the cars. Although it looks nice in my car, I will put that picture as a start picture for this video. <coughs> Excuse me. So I wish they would make PCBs in silver, but uh, I don't know why they don't do it. But you could s easily actually, if you have a white one painted silver or any other color. Uh, I have a customer who bought the gear indicator and he printed the whole case uh, flat matte black, including the frame. It looked real nice on his motorcycle. And... Uh, this fits in here of course that's what the frame was for initially but now you have a, a whole case that fits in here so and the sides are closed you won't see the electronics if you don't want to anyhow this is one possibility that you can do and as you might remember, I have this dual PCB for the spectrum analyzer that I have. And uh, this is a uh, shiny black, which is uh, not that nice as flat black. As you see, flat black looks much nicer. And uh, I don't remember who I made this with, but uh, you can see the silver solder is very uneven. And on these, they are very, very even. So, 
you could make practically a PCB without a solder mask on it and have it all silver or if you use any have it all gold but I guess that would be too much bling bling for most of the people so anyhow you can see this is all you need if you want to have your own setup at home if you wanna work on canvas uh, the input is just for the voltage and then you have the connection and then you can daisy chain this of course as you wish or put notes on to it connect notes to it this is the header for uploading code where did I put my my USB adapter somewhere <laughs> of course once you look for it yeah it's on here on the cable so this is my USB adapter and you can just plug it in connect it to your computer and upload code as you wish uh, for people who are asking what can it read or what can it show this is a list of my car uh, you could pause the video because I'm not gonna read it all to you you can pause the video and read what it is I have uh, over 40 uh, values that I can read off the car that's the top part and this is the bottom and I use the sniffing code to read all this and then co copy that from the serial monitor of the Arduino. I will also make a PCB f as a sniffer so it will record all the codes that you have in your car onto the micro SD card and then you can uh, use that for your codes that you would like. I will also have a gear indicator as I said and uh, I asked for help but that didn't work out so I have to bang my head at least now I can try it at home because I have speed and RPM and um, don't have to run out to the car every five minutes or with a laptop sit in the car anyhow this was it I'm f for sure forgetting something but I just will tell you about it in the next video. So this is the micro CAN gauge and this is connected to the OBD port and I'm using for this example a USB cable and I had trouble with this cable with the micro USB plug and just ripped it off and Luckily I didn't throw this out and now it's serving me nicely and I did a take a which one is female I think this is female USB connected to the wire uh, to the plug so I can just plug and play now like this and uh, it's a pretty long cable as you see here and I'm using this in my car right now as you will see in the picture or seen in the second part of the video so if you have any questions uh, please do ask them in the comments i will sell a few of these before the crowdfunding campaign i will also make a code which will have a, as i told you it has a touch sensor which works through the case of course and I will also make a code with multiple displays and one of them will also erase the, any error codes, er, error lights on the dash. It will not read them, but it will erase them. So if you have something that pops up all the time, you will be able to just erase it and then see when it comes back. Anyhow, this is it. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please, please do ask them in the comments and I will happily answer them. Thanks for watching and take care everybody.